My name is Art Smith and my field of study is physics, uh, specifically surface science <clears throat> or nanoscience. This tour is designed to show the, the kids what kind of physics we do here in this building, including a kind of microscopy which we call scanning tunneling microscopy. The other part of what I'm going to show in the tour is the importance of liquid helium. And so we're going to show the helium liquefier and as well the helium uh, recovery system. My students are actually yeah. filling balloons for the tour yeah. participants, but the biggest helium balloon of all is behind this, this little sure. wall here. Uh, basically when the experiments are running in the labs, liquid helium is becoming gaseous helium. And that what we're doing here in this building with this liquefier slash recovery system is being able to generate the liquid helium necessary to run the scanning tunneling microscopes at very, very low temperatures, and then uh, recovering the boiled off helium gas, which is returned back to this building, which we then reprocess and reconvert that back into liquid helium. The, the thing is that helium is a very, very precious resource. Uh, although helium is very, very abundant in the universe, actually it makes up something like 25% of the entire universe in terms of matter as we know it, uh, but on Earth, helium is very rare. At the same time, it's a very precious element in terms of science and technology applications. Helium was discovered when people were looking at a uh, solar eclipse in about 1868. And so they did some spectroscopy measurements. And so ultimately they saw some yellow uh, lines in the spectrum indicative of a new element. And so there was a Frenchman and Englishman given credit for co-discovering helium. And ultimately uh, the element was called helium, which comes from the Greek word helios. Uh, so the Greeks, of course, didn't really know about helium, but they called the sun Helios, and that's why we call helium helium. I really hope that the visitors who come on this tour uh, will leave knowing that uh, Ohio University has a very special resource here that should allow us to continue our experimental research far into the future.